enjoy the performance mm. more than the joke. I usually enjoy the performer and his attitude. You know, it's the attitude with which humor is told which I enjoy. Mm. That little bit of slapstick comedy by the great Rowan Atkinson is as simple as it gets. Unsuspecting man walks into a tree. It's probably the most famous bit from the late 1970s sketch show that Atkinson starred in called Not the Nine O'Clock News. And what elevates it beyond a simple joke is the same thing that makes Atkinson one of the world's most gifted physical comedians. Attitude. I mean, look at this sweet little man noticing a camera, being self-conscious at first, but just at the moment he starts to feel a little bit special, he's undercut. Atkinson has the chops of the very best physical comedians like Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, or Jacques Tati. But what sets him apart, I think, is this natural gift for characterization, nonverbal characterization, not just the ability to do funny things physically, but the ability to use that physicality to broadcast an attitude. The things that make me laugh are characters, you know, it's people who kind of present a sort of truth to you. I mean, even though it's mad or it's funny or it's wacky or it's rude or it's or it's silly, but there's a sort of a truth there that you identify with. Of course, most people know Atkinson as Mr. Bean, the globally famous character he created whose mostly wordless antics call back to the visual comedy of silent films. Most Americans probably know him from the Bean feature films that came later, but the original sitcom, which ran for only 15 episodes across six years, is where the best Bean work is. But that's generally because the more cinematic the format, the less interesting Mr. Bean becomes. Atkinson doesn't need much more than a single two-shot to work wonders. And unlike Chaplin and Keaton, Atkinson isn't a director. He's a performer through and through. This is hell. <laughs> and I am the devil. Good evening. Uh, but you can call me Toby, if you like. We, we try to keep things informal here as well as infernal. Um, that's just a little joke of mine. Which is why I think Atkinson's purest and often best work is in his stage shows. No frills, just a man and his audience. These shows make the most of Atkinson's talents. The skits are funny, but the attitude in which they're performed is the real joy. We try to keep things informal here, as well as infernal. Um, that's just a little joke of mine. Answer your names. Anus. Ass bandit. I'm a dick. I'm a dick. You know, a lot of prospective brides ask me these days, Father, what is the church's attitude to fellatio? <laughs> and I tend to reply by telling them a little story about the first time I was asked that question. <laughs> These are all jokes that require the performer to strike the exact right tone, because it's the character that makes them work, not the punchlines. It's the way this priest cracks the communion wafer and dips it into the wine. It's the deadpan seriousness of the schoolmaster doing a totally absurd roll call. It's the way the devil drops his head to the side with a bit of self-deprecation. The character is the joke. This is the comedy of personality, rather than the comedy of gags. It's not about doing funny things. It's about doing something quite normal in a funny way. That's actually Atkinson himself, acting in and narrating a documentary, really a long video essay on the principles of visual comedy. I'll link to it below, definitely watch the whole thing. In describing the comedy of personality, Atkinson is describing what excites him the most, but also what he's the best at. For example, if you were to take the comedy of personality to its most extreme, you'd probably get a sketch 
like this one, where Atkinson gives an acting lecture portraying a bunch of different personalities. A messenger enters bearing good news. <laughs> a messenger enters bearing bad news. <laughs> A messenger enters bearing bad news, which he thinks is good news. There's really no joke at all here, just personalities, and personalities within personalities. Atkinson is playing a self-serious actor, playing various different parts. The actor is proudly displaying his talent, but when something goes wrong, we get a glimpse of the character underneath, and it's even funnier. To really grasp an audience with comedy like this takes enormous precision, and those who can do it have a style that is completely inimitable, which is sort of ironic since being a physical comedian requires a mastery of imitation and a minute study of human behavior. These comedians find comedy in the slightest things, the way someone flicks a wrist, or the way someone pronounces the first letter in a word. And he knew not whence. It had come. Or feels a single piano note. Or signifies a whole nationality with the tiniest head movement. As well as the Russians. <laughs> Generally, the things that make me laugh are characters. You know, it's people who kind of present a sort of truth to you. I mean, even though it's mad or it's funny or it's wacky or it's rude or it's or it's silly, but there's a sort of a truth there that you identify with. And you think, I know that situation, I've been there, or I've seen someone like that mm. on the train, or I am someone like that, and I, uh, and I prefer to keep it hidden. And yet here, here I am being uh, characterized extremely well. Mm. And, 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 that's, and that does make me laugh. questions you guys ask me all the time is what kind of software I use to make these videos. Well, to edit, I use Final Cut Pro 10, and since 10 is so different from the program that came before it, I depended a lot on online videos to teach me all the new features. These days, you can pretty much teach yourself anything this way, and Skillshare is the perfect way to do it. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 18,000 classes in graphic design, animation, web development, video game design, and Final Cut Pro 10. All the classes are professional and understandable and follow a clear learning curve. A premium membership begins around $10 a month for unlimited access to all courses, but the first 200 people to sign up using the link in the description will get your first three months for just 99 cents. This offer was supposed to be only available for January, but Skillshare is extending it out for you guys until February 15th. In those three months, you could easily learn the skills you need to start a new hobby or business. What's the skill that you've been putting off learning? check out Skillshare. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.